In the news this week, schools in Limpopo were awarded for their participation in the Komati Land Fire Awareness Campaign. School learners from Vembe District in Limpopo gathered at Entabeni Plantation for the School Fire Awareness Award prize giving ceremony, which was hosted by Working on Fire and Komati Land Forest. This event concludes the Limpopo Fire Awareness Campaign activities that took earlier this year. Silo Matare, the Community Fire Awareness Officer, reaffirmed the need for fire awareness in communities and the program for the day. School kids have been competing about, uh, I mean, they've been competing with poems and, spe and speeches, whereby they were teaching the public more about uh, taking care of the environment and as well as the dangers of fire. The school children were very confident and did well as they shared the poems on their knowledge on vital information about dangers of fires. The children were very creative to ensure that the audience are eager to learn about fires. This is what one of the young children had to share about the experience of the day. Today as seven copy, I learned that fire is a dangerous thing and disadvantage of fire that it can burn everything and advantages is that it can do a good thing like cooking, boiling water. Amongst the guests, there were students from Canada who also enjoyed the lesson shared by Waking on Fire and the learners. Hi, my name is Chrissy Pippi. I am from Canada. Me and my classmates are all from York University. Today's event was very informative and we learned so much about fire safety in South Africa and we are so happy that we were here and we really appreciate everything. The young children also shared their information on fire dangers to audience through play. Thereafter, prizes were awarded to those that had presented poems on the day. The message of fire awareness was well conveyed, and we look forward to many more of these important lessons on fire safety. We all have a role to play in protecting our environment. The Free State Provincial Office and Bloemfontein team celebrate Casual Day. Casual Day is an annual event celebrated in South Africa on the first Friday of September. Approximately 4,500 companies, 100 schools and 400 organizations rendering services to persons with disabilities take part in this celebration. The Working on Fire Bloemfontein team and Free State Provincial Office traveled to Pulaho Special School in Bloemfontein to celebrate this day with students who are mentally handicapped but enjoy life. After speeches and formalities, the students took to the dance floor and entertained the audience with a well-choreographed dance routine. Social Development Officer of the Free State Province, Mario Chauke, gave a speech and our Bloom team gave a performance too. This is what Baby from the Bloemfontein team had to say about this day and this event. Hello everyone, I'm Baby Solani from Bloemfontein team. Today we are at Pulua School. Um, these kids are living with disability. We are celebrating a casual day with them. Uh, we as a Bloemfontein team, we have adopted this school since last year. So today we are celebrating a casual day with them. I'm Mario Chauke, Social Development Practitioner, Free State. Um, we are here at Puluho. It's a casual day. We adopted this school last year. And even last year we had this event. Uh, this event is about supporting the children who are disabled. The Bloom team have established a continued relationship with Polohar Special School and have made it routine to constantly visit the school, which has become their second home. This was an excellent casual day event. A big well done to the Bloemfontein team. The Ahanang team was recognized for their fire prevention activities at the Nobel Hospital in Limpopo. The Limpopo-based Ahanang team was nominated by the Department of Health's Nobel Hospital Team Management. The hospital applauded them on their dedication, commitment and hard work that they constantly display as a team. The team would often go an extra mile by offering a helping hand on slashing and cleaning out the yard of the hospital premises. Matsidiso thanked the hospital for this award on behalf of the Ahanang team. Kena Anastasia Matsidisho Morava, Ojo Arana Nobel Base. Lohono, Rizivile, Steve Kate, Ojoa, Kamo Arana Nobel Hospital, Kabakalan Nertusha, Hutlina, Hudi Koreita, 
mushumo lo rudi le lo uthibela mo lo roskata wa holja o fithile ka mo gare ga spetele ke matso ga rena a team ya agana nobel ke te kwa ke thabile kudu ka ge le gore team ya rena e gona o humana mpho yewe ka ba ka la matso ga lo re ba ile ba gona o ta o thusha ka mo spetele sa nobel ke re le ka o sane re sa tona o tshela pele re thusha mo speteleng she further mentioned that they had a good working relationship with the hospital and that the staff members are very friendly. The management values their support and they couldn't ignore the enormous daily contribution that the Ahanang team provided them. Keep up the good work, Ahanang team.